Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano just continues to be in choppy sideways action here, no change. It however broke above the descending trend line, so it might have some bullish implications. However, it hasn't invalidated any scenario. The triangle here that I showed you in a possible WXY pattern is still intact. Um, as I said to you, the triangle really only gets invalidated if we break above 40 cents. So for now, we continue to be in this triangle as it seems, at least that would be my um, my view, um, because it, it also hasn't really rallied impulsively enough yet to say that really, you know, th th this wave two is definitely over, um, which it would be if it was, you know, if, if it was now rallying impulsively, but it's not. So while Bitcoin, Ethereum are rallying quite a bit, um, ADA isn't doing much, just confirms at the moment, at least this view that this could still be an elite wave triangle, which is a valid view as long as we are below 40 cents. Now above 40 cents, it would again, just extend the triangle a little bit further possibly, uh, but invalidation will occur above 40.55 cents. So for now I'm looking at this as a possible wave um, Y still, and that the X wave was actually here an elite wave triangle in itself. Yes, it's getting complex. So that's sort of the view. Um, and we could still have it. We still have a chance to to come down lower. Um, but um, from a trading point of view and from a mindset and, and tactical point of view, please be aware that the boxes are trend reversal areas. So whenever a chart hits it, the price can turn around. We already hit this area here on the third of April. So if we break to the upside, I mean, it would just simply follow the trend that has been identified with the Elliott Wave method. Um, the only reason why I'm focused here, well, I'm not focused on the downside, but my view is that a Y wave is likely and due to the choppy price action, this is likely. Um, well, the only reason why I'm sort of focusing on this count and have it on the chart is because we have, while we have bottomed here, this is not a very clear three wave move, even though it's valid. Um, so it could complete here this wave too, but also because whatever's happening here, nothing of that is really impulsive yet at least. So. For me, um, at least it's worth pointing out the risk that we come down once more in the wire wave. Yeah, Anybody who entered in the yellow support area already should be in profit anyway. So you can just move up your stop loss and just let it play out. And if it comes down lower, you can just get stopped out at break even or whatever, and then wait for a lower dip to, to buy in again or whatever. Um, but if it rallies from here, it, it's gonna it's gonna go. And what is the breakout point? The breakout point here for me, the very first one really is the 40 cent level. Then we've got 40.45 uh, and the very important one is 42.4 cents because until we get above that level, this could just be a high X wave. Now, I think it's worth observing what Bitcoin and Ethereum are doing because if they really are in their third wave rallies, then ADA will probably listen as well and probably follow Bitcoin to a degree and could then already be in its third wave rally as well and has already completed the wave two, but it's a bit too early to confirm that. Just be aware of the key levels at this stage and just very, very important, the message that as long as we are holding 35.2 cents, this general upside pattern, yeah, this sort of general breakout pattern to the upside is valid and further price increases are expected. It's only really that below 35.2 cents, we're going to change the scenario here but it would hardly be bearish. Um, it would just be a deeper pullback into one of the deeper support areas. But um, yeah, what would be the third wave target from here? Let's just highlight that we're talking about this wave degree here, yeah, this third wave. If we bottomed here in a wave two already on the 2nd of April, again, this is certainly possible, not at the moment the primary, but it's possible. Well, target wise, we would be talking for a third wave um about around 49 cents yeah so that would be the minimum ideally higher and um, that's quite a bit of a move so boring consolidation like we see it everywhere in the crypto market a lot of these altcoins could have bottomed already but the current structure doesn't really give us a very clear low here we had a very clear low that was on the 27th of march and here we had a very clear low on the 5th of march this here is not entirely clear but um, yeah, just be watching the uh, be watching these breakout points, and please understand that the general focus here is on higher, and I'm focused on higher. It's just in the short term there is this risk of a Y wave down, but it doesn't need it, yeah, because it already hit the trend reversal area on the third of April. Okay, that's my update about um, 
Ada. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.